Hi guys, Greg here for Happening at Dolby. We've got Eddie Izzard in the building tonight. He's actually here four nights at the Dolby Theater, and he's performing his new show, Wunderbar. And we're going to get a chance to chat with him and see what he has to say. Well, welcome back to the Dolby Theater. Thank you very much. Is Mr. Dolby here? Uh, he couldn't make it tonight, I'm so sorry. There was there Dolby? There was Mr. Ray Dolby, yeah. If you could go back and, you know, starting out early in your career, if you could have said, opened up for anybody, living or dead, who would you want to have uh, opened up for as a comedian? I don't like opening for anyone. Uh, I suppose, <laughs> but if I've been on stage with um, Richard Pryor, that would have been great. Uh, or Billy Conway. I mean, I did share the stage with uh, Robin Williams. There was Robin and me, and there was, uh, we are, there was a thing about who's going to go on last. And no one sort of, I, I didn't necessarily want to follow him. Anymore. I followed him. And I don't think I, I think I lost. I think I, I didn't do very well because, uh, uh, yeah, I just, yeah. You actually hold the record for the uh, comedian who's been here the most consecutive nights, five nights. Yeah. You know, what is it about the Dolby that you love so much? Well, I don't normally choose, I, I don't choose the theatres that I play in. But actually, it's a great room. Um, it just plays well. Some of them are great. Um, some of them are not built quite so well for listening and audiences. You, you've got to it, you have intimacy in a big room. It, 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 that is the key thing. So it's just a great one to play. You've done some incredible work on stage. Do you see yourself going back to the West End or to Broadway anytime soon? Well, I'm going to Broadway. Oh, you don't well, know? No, I did, did not. You're but but higher on the musical. Yeah. Uh, Scott Rudin production, Laurie Metcalf. And we're doing uh, Who's Very Virginia Wolf and start rehearsals in January uh, and previews in March. So I'm playing. Um, I'm, I call it Who's Afraid of Elizabeth Taylor? I'm playing Richard Burton. I'm playing Nick Hobbs playing Elizabeth Taylor. So, yeah, so that's uh, on stage, and I've got two films coming out this year, and uh, then I go to politics next year. All right, guys, we're in the red carpet with Chris, who just watched Eddie Izzard. What would you think of the show, Chris? Awesome show. Awesome, awesome. I saw him here first or in LA, probably in the year 2000. Um, I'd been watching him in England when I traveled over there, so it was excellent to see him in this beautiful theater. Um, I was slightly disappointed at the lack of men in dresses. Apparently, but no one, no one got the memo. that's not a reflection of the venue. No, not at all. The theater's all. gorgeous. I was gonna say, no, oh, the theater, like, absolutely, I'm moving in. It was absolutely incredible. Uh, this is my fourth time seeing him, and my first time seeing him in this venue, though, and it was amazing because it felt like he was so close, but yet you're in this big show, and I just, I love him so much. It was wonderful. All right, guys, a hilarious night here at the Dolby Theater with the incredible uh, Eddie Izzard. Uh, if you want to see future dates of his, make sure you check out his website. Check him out on stage. As he mentioned, he's doing Broadway coming up soon with Laurie Metcalf. And then, of course, he has some feature films coming out, so make sure to check them out. And don't forget to hit subscribe below and check out Happening at Dolby Theatre.